Last time on this account, I finished bullying hill giants after almost two years and 516,316 kill count. And Scotizo finally gave me the last collection lock slot, the Jar of Darkness. This means I can roll my first chunk and start a new era on this account. Enjoy my soon to be multiple chunk Iron Man. Alright, 77 wood cutting, the last level before I roll my first chunk. It is the day of the chunk roll and we can quickly go over the possible chunks I can get. The north chunk has nothing I'm aware of. It has a bank, which is pretty nice. The east chunk has a fire making requirement. I think a magic tree. The south chunk has maple trees and that's about it. And the west chunk has the anvil, which I talked about in the bank video. And that's a meme chunk for now. So nothing too crazy for the first chunk roll. But I think I'm going to get a pretty big grind within two or three chunks, potentially. Three, two, one, pick the chunk. I predicted it! No way! I had a dream about this! I actually got it! No way! That's so funny! I had a dream lighting locks because I got this chunk. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. All right. Uh, that is a lovely chunk to get, actually. So my goals are burn a magic lock and chop a magic tree. Yo, that's... Yo, I'm really happy with that chunk, bro. Holy shit. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay, okay. Very nice. Um, let's explore, shall we? Let's explore... We don't unlock a music track there, but let's see. Uh, let's see. I can do this, right? Wait, how do I do this? Oh, look at it, man. Oh, we have a new chunk. It's real. We have a new chunk. Oh, look at it. Almost two years in the making. There's, we can do other, st we can do other stuff. Look at that. Plus one chunk, man. No way. All right. So we have a lot of houses. I kind of want to. See if there's anything there in a bit. Uh, we have trout and salmon here, but I don't have a fishing rod. I do have some feather and bait, but yeah, I can't do anything of that for now. That wouldn't be a fishing requirement anyways. Uh, we have oak trees for the first time. I've only had regular trees and yew trees until this point, but now we have oak trees, which is really nice. Uh, we also got some NPCs here, some rabbits. We did get a music track, arcane. I think it's because I walked like here, probably, right? Nice. Okay, wait, let's listen to it. Let's listen to it. Let's see. Right here. Oh, there's chest. Oh, there's a lesser demon. Broken glass, okay. Grain? Mm, I killed this guy. Let's kill this guy. I did not know there was a lesser demon here. <laughs> <laughs> Why is there less than even here? What? Chaos runes, okay. Thank you. Alright. We have some magic locks. The magic tree is right here. And the only real requirement is to burn this lock. Luckily I already have the locks banked for fire making. So this should only be like a 4 or 5 hour grind maybe. And we can also get this protest banner. Did not know this was here. But it looks kind of interesting i've also pretty much opened every crate or drawers and all the other boxes and i didn't really find any other items so i think that's about it it's time for some fire making so it looks like i can get over 200,000 xp per hour lighting locks at the top of the castle i am lucky uh you can light locks here otherwise i'd have to go all the way down so yeah i can actually get a decent bit of xp per hour it should take around four hours and we're starting at level 60 all right, level 65 fire making, 10 levels to go. Level 70 fire making, beautiful level. 71 fire making, and that got us 10, 75 total level. I forgot I can actually get total levels again. We're going to be training a lot of skills in the future, I think. That's really nice. There we go. 75 fire making. Can now... Burn magic locks and light an abyssal lantern. Cool. Let's do it right here. 
There we go. Magic lock has been lit. That was really exciting. We've rolled the first chunk. Before I roll the next chunk, I'm going to make some dinner. And today's partner, HelloFresh, is going to help with that. HelloFresh takes the hassle out of mealtime by delivering pre-portioned ingredients and easy to prepare recipes right to your door. Skip the checkout lines and get outside in the warmer weather because HelloFresh has dinner covered. HelloFresh is super simple to use. You can choose from more than 50 different meal options every week, each of which are pre-portioned and high quality. My favorite thing about HelloFresh is being able to easily control your portion sizes, thinking about your nutrition and health and the meal stays really good. And not only this, HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% cheaper than takeout. HelloFresh's pre-portioned ingredients also cut down on your food waste by at least 23% compared to grocery shopping. I'm a big fan of this sponsor and I recommend you to try it out. Use my link or go to hellofresh.com and use code POCVERVIEW50 for 50% off plus free shipping. Once you click, my description will live update to counter purchases. And thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring this episode. Click the button. Three, two, one, go. And we get. Wait, that is the East Chunk. Okay. We did get. <laughs> we are close to the mainland. We can finally get a cape. No way. Obtain a black cape. Let's take a look. Alright, well, I can officially go into this chunk. 69, 69. Would you look at that? Oh, there we go. We are going east, it seems, guys. We are going east, it seems. Chunk number 69, 69. Wait, I can share sheep, right? Yeah, I can share sheep. Oh my god. Okay. We have wool. That might be a potential crafting grind or way to do crafting. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, I got flax too. Oh, look, I got flax. I can pick flax now. That's cool. A limited flax source. I don't have to rely on uh, random events. So two potential crafting methods have been unlocked. I can't do anything with it yet, however, because I need this right here. I need the spinning wheel. Uh... We have some crafting options, I guess. More trees as well. We have willow trees as well. All right, let's smack this highwayman on his hat. And there is the first cape on this account in almost two years. That is very strange. Uh, yeah. Ooh, I also found uh, four seaweed spawns near the water. Could also potentially be used for crafting in the future. So this chunk is pretty interesting so far. A lot of new uh, resources I can get. I also just found out I have this subscribe button task. And you guys can complete that for me by clicking on it. I also just realized I'm one chunk away from the mining grind now. And if I get those ores it means I have to get 90 mining. Because there's a shooting star uh, in this current chunk. Which I can't mine because I'm one mining. But if we get these ores, it's going to be a pretty tough grind. Because the bank is pretty far away. And I really would like to bank all the iron. So that's a pretty scary grind. Um, but yeah, besides from that, I think that's pretty much everything in the chunk. I've looked around. I've checked every house. Every box. No new items. I got a bar with beers. A couple resources. But that's it. So let's roll the next chunk. So let's see. What, what do we actually... So if I get chunk 8, we have the Eastern Agent. Also, unlocking this chunk means 95 fletching. I just realized. This means 95 fletching, guys. <sighs> With oak locks. Or willow locks. Because I don't have maple locks yet. Because maple locks are here. So this becomes a pretty big grind too. This also becomes a pretty big grind now because of mining. So we have some interesting things on the menu now. Both 6 and 8 are at least, I would say, 2 months of grinds. Uh, let's see, what else is there? 7 is nothing. Uh, there's nothing else in this chunk, I believe. This unlocks a rune store. This has an extra bank. Maple trees. Meme chunk. And I don't think I can enter mess hall. So also, again, 
nothing really here so uh, yeah let's see this is gonna be this is gonna be the first potentially big thing i get so pick the chunk and that is Hosidius, my friends uh okay i guess we are gonna be doing wood cutting and the fletching for the next uh <laughs> two months or so okay okay well uh <laughs> i'm also one chunk away from puro puro now wait i have to do crafting too wait a second oh no i have crafting too <laughs> oh my god okay uh maybe i'll also have to do it's saying i have to do crafting too does that mean there's a needle in this chunk wait also that's construction but i can't train construction yet oh my god this is a huge chunk guys uh we have construction too but i can't train it yet because i don't have a house wow this is quite a chunk actually all right let's Open up this chunk and take a look. All right, there we go. What a what an interesting chunk route so far. I have to say, I did not expect to roll chunks like this. That's <laughs> definitely an interesting uh, route so far. Uh, let's go in there. There's so much stuff here, man. I I know there's a bunch of shit here. The first thing I see is Master Farmers, which means I can pretty much get unlimited seeds now. That will be nice for the farming grind in the future. First things first, let's buy a house. 1000 GP. Quick explanation why I cannot do construction. I don't have a saw. I can't go to my house portal. I don't have a way to teleport to Zaya. Um, there isn't any way to train construction. Even if I had a saw, I still wouldn't be able to train construction because I can't go to my house. I also don't have planks. I can make planks. So construction is a very interesting skill for this account. I'm sure I'm going way more into detail in the future, but uh, a potential grind can be winner thought, repairing the braziers. I can get oak planks from like eclectic implings, uh, gangsters. I can get the sawmill in the woodcutting guild. So that's a lot of options but for now it is backlogged i have no way to train however it's pretty scary because the moment i unlock it i have to get 99 for the construction cape all right we have a general store and there is the needle and the thread i had no idea this was in this general store um we also have a chisel now which means we can unlock crafting i can uh cut gems and the needle and thread means i have to make red dehyde because I have a dehyde tanner in the Forthos dungeon and I have a bunch of red dehyde banked. I can also kill red dragons for uh, red dragon height. So yeah, we have to make a full red dragon height set. I really did not expect to get this uh, goal in this chunk, but yes, this general store makes that possible. And we also have this food store and the yes, there it is, the knife. Um, this unlocks fletching. I have one fletching right now. I have dragon dart tips in the bank, which means I have to train fletching until 95 and make a dragon dart. And I don't need Taurus trap for that. That's only required for smithing. So I can actually fletch a dragon dart. Don't worry about that. Um, yeah, that's a huge grind. That's definitely going to be the biggest grind in this chunk. This store also has a couple of other things. Nothing too helpful, but that knife is uh, pretty big. The current tasks in my chunk are 77 crafting to make a red dart body, 95 fletching to make a dragon dart, 87 magic to enchant a onyx bolt, and we have a couple best and slot tasks, a coif, red dart chaps, ladder chaps, and a magic shield. And we have a karamja task for some reason, so gonna have to check that out. So my goal list is saying I can complete a karamja task. Uh... Okay, I can put this spider on the shaft. I guess I can cook it on a fire. <laughs> oh my god, no way, dude. I completed a medium Karamja task in Hosidius. <laughs> that is awesome. 
Um, that's definitely my favorite task of this chunk. <laughs> Spider on a stick. Would you look at that? Achievement diary task completed. All right, I also got a farming store. I just checked. Uh, I can buy all the farming tools, compost, unlimited buckets, sacks, all that type of stuff. Um, pretty cool. I don't actually have patches yet, but south of me is a allotment patch. So yeah, that's pretty helpful. I just found something very interesting I did not know about. You can buy a beer, which is called Sitter, in the bar in Osidius. And it boosts your farming. So, very interesting. That might help for some future uh, farming tasks. I can also buy like wine and other stuff here. So, pretty, pretty good bar actually. A lot better than the one in the chunk north of me. We also have a cow pen. With the raw beef, so I can make a crossbow string in the future if we get the spinning wheel. So that's uh, needed for the rune crossbow. And we also get cow hides, which means I can make a coif. Uh, that's my best slot range headgear. I don't actually have chaps right now, so I could make a leather chap for best slot, but I can make red DI too. Yeah, really nice to have some uh, cows unlocked finally. I have waited for this for so long. I can finally use my gems. All of the thousands of gems I've collected from killing Seracnus and Hill Giants. It's time to fly through some levels. I have around 70 crafting banked in gems. That gives me a really good head start for this 77 uh, crafting goal I need to do. It's time to go through these gems. Level 30 crafting. Look at all the level ups in the chat. We are going to get so many total levels from this too, which is going to help for like maze randoms and stuff. All right, I just did a bank makeover. I gave everything a new spot in my skilling tab since I got so many new items. Put the tools at the top now and then the gems under it. Kind of organized it a little bit different. Looks uh, pretty nice, I think. There we go, level 40 crafting. Levels are flying. Missed a level, but just hit 1100 total levels. Level 50 crafting. I still have so many levels banked. This is such amazing XP. There we go. 55 crafting. I can now cut dragon stones. And I do have a couple. So we can, uh, you know, maybe cut like 20 more. Bank some more uh, cut dragon stones. Beautiful. Another clean level, 60 crafting. That's going to be it for now. I want to try out some uh, fletching as well. And use the rest of the gems later. And there's the long awaited two fletching. It feels so strange to train so many new skills, man. A new era on this account, guys. And I believe I have the oak locks banked until willow. So that's the first goal. Level 10 fletching for longbows. Boost the XP a little bit. 20 fletching for oak short bows and there we go 25 fletching can now make oak long bows get the most xp out of the oak locks there's an oak tree like next to the bank so it's really easy for me to get these oak locks so the starting fletching grind is perfect and there we go another fletching level and 1150 total 100 more to go for the first total level world there we go, 35 fletching. That is the fletching bank grind done. I can now make uh, willow bows. Which means I'm going to test out the uh, willow trees at the river. I think that's going to be my main method to 95 fletching actually. But I will do some more testing. I might also test yew trees and see how good it is. Yew trees have uh, some other benefits as well. So gonna have to check that out in the future. There's 40 fletching. I can now upgrade to willow longbows. I really enjoy this place. There's two trees. It's fairly AFK. And I'm getting like 25k XP per hour. 79 wood cutting. First level out of many. The 95 fletching goal will actually get me 99 wood cutting as well. So 399s I guess. Another clean level. 50 fletching. Can now make maple short bows. I've also switched to making uh, willow shields because it is a lot less uh, item dropping. I believe making shields is one tick slower, but I think it's worth it if I'm gonna spend a few hundred hours here. All right, 80 wood cutting. Very nice level. 55 fletching, maple longbows, and broad bolts. And we also got 1175 total. The next thing I want to test is uh, crafting in this chunk. So I've done a little bit of testing and my best crafting method in this chunk is 
stealing from the gem stalls and cutting the gems. I also get a good chunk of thieving XP per hour. And the crafting XP is around 10 to 13k uh, per hour from the testing I've done so far. It really depends how many times I get attacked by the guards because it delays the hopping. And it also depends what gems I get. For the most part you get sapphires and you get a couple other gems per inventory as well. Um, but yeah, not a terrible method actually. I thought this was going to be like 6-7k per hour. But yeah, actually somewhat decent. The next thing I'm going to test is magic. I need 87 magic in this chunk to enchant an onyx bolt. The reason I unlocked this now is because I also unlocked fletching, which means I can make an onyx bolt. I have runite bolts in the bank. I also got onyx bolt tips from uh, Scotizo and Serechnus, so we can attach those. So yeah, I need to get 10 magic levels. I think the most efficient way for me to finish this chunk is maging red dragons, because I can use the red deites I get for crafting, make vembracers, get a little bit of passive uh, crafting XP. So I'm going to test out uh, some red dragons. Alright, I found a really nice safe spot. I can kill two red dragons in this place. Filled my inventory, used the bones on the altar, and then tend the dehydes next to the altar. There's a uh, dehyde tannery. I brought a needle and thread. I can make the uh, dehydes into armor and high all kit for GP. So, actually really cool place. I really love this dungeon. They basically designed this whole dungeon for this reason. It's not like crazy XP per hour, but it's really good for accounts like Ultimate Iron Man. And um, yeah, also for this chunk account, so lucky me. It's time to make some best in slot armor upgrades. Let's make a coif, best in slot range. And we can also make some leather chaps for now. I don't have chaps, so uh, yeah. I will look like an absolute unit. Look at that. Oh my god. I also absolutely love my best in slot magic outfit. <laughs> oh, that's so fun about these accounts, man. You, you're just walking around like an absolute unit. And after testing this magic method for a little bit, I think I can pretty easily maintain 65k magic XP per hour. So that's really good actually. Big level on the account, 67 crafting. I can cut an onyx and I do have an uncut onyx in the bank. So let's cut that. The uncut onyx from Scotizo will be used. And I do have a cut onyx now. That's going to sit in the bank until I get jewelry molds and a furnace and I can make a piece of jewelry out of that. There we go, level 70 crafting with only gems. That is an amazing head start. Okay, this will be the final inventory. I've gone through all of my gems and I got nearly 71 crafting. And I need pretty much two and a half more levels until I can process red dehyde. And I have like 200,000 crafting XP banked in uh, red dehydes. So we're going to have to do a little bit of uh, gem stall grinding. And get that 73 for uh, red dehyde vampires. 76 thieving, first thieving level. We will get a couple of these uh, passive levels while doing crafting. Very nice. Level 71 crafting. Two more to go for red dehyde vamps. Man, I do not enjoy this grind. I really dislike grinds that require a crazy amount of world hopping. I also get randomly attacked by these guards, which means I cannot hop. It's This is a rough grind. Luckily, I only have to do this for like, I don't know, like 30 hours maybe. But man, this, this is something else. <laughs> Did a couple more hours of Willow Fletching for level 60 Fletching. Levels are starting to get up there. 77 Thieving. Okay, 72 crafting, one level to go. One benefit of this method is that I'm banking a crazy amount of gems for future uh, crafting XP. If I get a furnace, gold bars, all that stuff, I can make all of it into jewelry as well. Level 78 thieving, does that unlock anything? Yeah, new chest in Dorgashen, nah, nice, nice. Three thieving levels. Someone just mentioned that I can open all of the XX that I got from Serechnus because I've got a knife now. So I actually want to open all of them because uh, it's going to look way better to have all the red spider eggs banked. So let's open all of these XX. Let's see how many spider eggs we get in total. All right, that's it. Let's see. Oh, almost 15,000 red spider eggs. That looks so good. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to run out of those if I ever get Herbal unlocked. That is a juicy stack of spider eggs. 79 thieving, another level. All right, this mini goal ends here. 73 crafting. 
I can now craft radiate vamps. And I so happen to have 2.6k radiate bank from Seragnus, which we can all turn into a ladder and get a lot of crafting XP. We can also high oak all of that in the future for a crazy amount of money, actually. Um, the only problem is I have to go all the way from the current castle bank to the Forthos dungeon for one inventory of dehyde. So I'm going to have to do some testing, see what's the fastest method. But that's quite a hike. We have 2771 dehydes to 10. I'm guessing this is going to take somewhere between 5 and 10 uh, hours. So let's begin. First level of the dehydes, 74 crafting. One more level to go and I can make uh, chaps. Okay, we are done. We've made all of the dehydes uh, into armor. And we are nearly at 75 crafting right now. And I can now officially start the red dragon grind. Because I have the level to make red dehyde armor. I can high alk it. I can sit there and train my magic. I don't really have to leave or bank. But I can hopefully finish the last two levels at dragons while I finish uh, 87 magic. Really excited for this next goal. There it is, 75 crafting. I can now make a red dehyde chaps. That is beautiful. It saves me a little bit of time at dragons as well. And I have to high out glass items. And we got 1200 total on the account. We have got so many total levels lately. It's insane. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Make sure you subscribe and like if you enjoyed this new progress, the new chunks. Uh, we are two levels away from this goal. We have completed the coif task, red dehyde, chaps task, um, ladder chaps, and we've completed this Karamja diary. So uh, yeah, some pretty decent progress. And let's complete some more goals next video.